Since the publication by the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops in 1992 of From Pain to Hope, a report by the Ad Hoc Committee on Child Sexual Abuse, and in 2007 of Orientation for Updating a Diocesan Protocol for the Prevention of the Sexual Abuse, we, as your bishops, have continued to gain insight and understanding in regards to the sexual abuse of minors and vulner vulnerable adults by clergy and religious. We as your bishop have heard the call to meet victims and to learn from them. We need to keep doing this. We have also heard the call to work with the laity, both in investigating complaints as well as in implementing safeguarding practices. We know not to return offenders back to a regular ministry where they are likely to reoffend. This policy has been in force for some time, but the message needs to be stated with even greater emphasis. We know we must call the police when allegations concern a minor who is in danger and that we must avoid any attempt to cover up wrongdoing. We are aware that we need thorough screening mechanism for candidates and volunteers who desire to work in pastoral environments and we must ensure in turn that those who are responsible for forming and guiding them serve as examples of virtue and holiness. The combination of these important lessons and the toughening up of policies by the Holy See in recent years has made the updating and expansion of the CCCB's norms essential. For the past five years, the conference has worked in a concerted effort with an ad hoc committee, which included laity as well as professionals in child protection, social work, and psychology to elaborate a more robust and current document for the present times. The fruit of this work published this fall under the title Protecting Minors from Sexual Abuse, a call to the Catholic faithful for healing, reconciliation, and transformation is necessary to ensure that the actions being taken in every diocese and eparchy in Canada to protect minors and assist victims in current, comprehensive, and fully effective. A national ref a reference work for the bishops in Canada, this document will be of equal value to all persons exercising a pastoral role within Catholic institution. We recognize that even though this document constitute an important milestone and speaks to the most current and contemporary issues, it is nonetheless a work in progress that will always require future updates and revisions. The new document is organized in three main sections. Part one provides a reflection on the Canadian experience and the effects of sexual abuse on Catholics in Canada since the publication of From Pain to Hope in 1992. Its chapters are devoted to lessons learned, the healing of individuals and communities, and signposts for the road ahead. In connection with each lesson learned, there are a series of corresponding recommendations of which in total there are 69 delineating and promoting 
best practices. Part two provides guidelines for moving forward with updated canonical norms to assist in an effective and pastoral response to issues of sexual abuse. Part three offers a list of helpful, helpful resources, including education material and web links to agencies promoting the protection of minors. The section on resource is followed by three appendices, including a complete list of recommendations and action points. It is COPE that protecting minors from sexual abuse, a call to the Catholic faithful in Canada for healing, reconciliation, and transformation, will make a positive difference to how Catholic Church leaders in Canada and all concerned can fulfill their responsibilities for protecting minors and healing victims. It expresses the clear expectation of the conference that all bishops, major superiors, and others in church leadership be more preventive and proactive in safeguarding pastoral environments. It makes clear that the needs of victims come first. They and their families are the ones we care about. It also echoes the urgency and hope that the bishops and all the Catholic faithful each take up their part in creating pastoral environments which prevents situation of sexual and other kinds of abuse from occurring, and which also prevent their being covered up and perpetuated. May God help us, your shepherds, in protecting youth and all the members of the flock entrusted by the Lord to our care. Thank you.